Yo, you hear the debate? I am, yeah. All right, what's your name, agent pronouns, please? Uh, my name is Sin. I'm 36. He, him. Cool. What are you here to debate about? <clears throat> Abortion all nine months. Yes. What about it? Yeah. Um, I guess uh, I just uh, don't see how you can justify taking away uh, an innocent life. What makes it innocent? I would say a fetus. Uh, it I would say it's ha- amoral. You would you would say it's amoral. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't so, have the ability uh, to, you would... to be innocent or guilty. It's not a moral agent. Oh, okay. So, huh, interesting. Interesting. I'm trying to think of that. So for moral agency, what would that require in your in your view? The ability to act either innocently or guiltily. Guilt, guiltily. To perform a, 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 a if, like if you don't have the ability to perform a guilty action, I would say you you're not a moral agent. You're just an amoral being. Understood. Okay, so like if uh, like if I caught COVID and slipped into a coma, could you unalive me? If you caught COVID and slipped into a coma, could I unalive you? Yeah. Probably not. And, and and how do you uh, consolidate that with the reason you just provided? Well, I didn't give a reason why we can unalive fetuses. I just questioned whether they were moral or whether they were in his moral or amoral. I didn't say because they're amoral we can kill them. I just so why can't can we kill a fetus? Oh, we can kill. We can take a fetus out of the body if it's in a in a place where it's not wanted, right? If the fetus is if the fetus is in somebody's body, they have all the right to take it out at any point. They okay. don't have an obligation. Um, they don't have an obligation to the fetus. They don't have an obligation to the fetus. Okay, no. so, uh, okay, uh, but but do you do we agree that the fetus is an independent human being, or as long sure. as it's in the mother, it's still it can be an okay. independent human being. That doesn't make them obligated to it, though. Uh, I, I understand. I understand. So, can you can you demonstrate how? a system of morality that doesn't begin with the value of human life can function? We already have a system of morality that doesn't begin with human life. Uh, I would, uh, I, I, what system of morality does not hold as a primary axiom the value of human life? We end human life all the time. I would say, I would say, I would say a system of capital definitely doesn't value human life. That's not how what our system. Our system's not built on whether or not you live or die. Our system's built on whether or not you can pay people. They don't care if you live or die. That's why yeah, death follows you about... after death. Well, yeah, you yeah, asked not, about I'm the not... system. This is the system our world currently operates under. It's not a system. No, of I'm human... talking about morality. Oh, my morality doesn't care about human life. My morality cares about sentient human life. Sentient. Why, why should I? Sentient. The subjective human experience. Okay. So. So. Um... Uh, a uh, let's say a woman gives birth. Can we unalive that baby after one minute? No, it would it would have been sentient well before then. The capacity yeah, you, for sentient you... starts at twenty four weeks. Mm-hmm. So um, does something have to be able to have a subjective experience for you to consider it sentient? Yes. Are you aware that until babies take the first couple of breaths and get oxygen, that they are completely unconscious? It's usually like unconscious minutes. and unsentient are not the same thing. How can, have you ever seen a demonstration of subjective experience of an yes, unconscious subje- person? Your, your capacity for sentience starts at 24 weeks. That's when the necessary okay. components for the brain to engage in sentience happens. Whether you can deploy that sentience or not is a different story, but your brain has the capacity for that sentience. So you don't actually value sentience, you just uh, value the capacity for sentience. I would say the capacity for sentience is sentient. You can't, if you can't do anything if you don't have the capacity. Are you saying a potential X is an actual X? I'm not talking about potential, I'm talking about capacity. Capacity, okay. I, uh, I have the capacity to be president one day. Should I be allowed to walk into the White House right now and start writing executive orders? No, because you haven't deployed that capacity. Oh uh, well, the baby hasn't deployed sentience. Why? Why are we special pleading in your morality now? I'm not special pleading. 
I said capacity. Okay, but you're not allowing me to quite do literally something based on my capacity. capacity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying sure. Baby... Answer me. Answer me a question real quick. Answer me a question real quick. Why should we value human life just for the sake of it being human life? Yeah, because uh, because human with human life is required for any type of like uh, extrapolation of any moral system. There's no point in a moral system where no humans exist. That doesn't answer my question about why the human life is valuable. Right. We don't need human life. We don't need human life to have a moral system, right? Like if animals were advanced enough to have morals, they could have a moral system without human life, correct? If yeah, an alien species have... shows up tomorrow, they can have a moral system without human life, right? Why is human life specifically valuable? Yeah, because we're talking about human system of morality. Life is valuable then fine. So human life human is life is valuable because it's human life? Human life is valuable to a human system of morality. We are humans and we have our own system of morality. Yeah, I would, say human human life human is not, life. I would say human life is not what makes our moral system moral. And I, we, we already don't, don't value human life in our moral system, like inherently. So like you're just going in circles. What I'm not going in circles, and you just, made a, you just made a statement you cannot uh, support. Show, yes, me can. a, show, me that, show me a morality that doesn't value human life. Do we allow people to starve if they can't afford food? Yes. Do we, we don't consider value that their a correct action? Is that not the way our entire system operates under? Once again, more from a moral perspective, show me someone who does not think that is a correct. I mean, who thinks every, that is a good every person, every person that owns a grocery store and pours bleach on the food when they toss it at the end of the day, they would inherently view that them losing money is more morally negative than the people who need food getting food. Every person that rents out a home would view their paycheck, their profits more valuable than somebody who may die or may suffer severe consequences because they're not they're facing the elements right every single person that sells something is engaging in this system uh both economically ethically and morally i i i understand what you're saying from an economical pers perspective but do you think that the person who is bleaching food at the end of the day is making a moral judgment that yes. is saying that this is morally the correct Yes. Uh, okay, yes. I got you, man. You. All right. I, I. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get anywhere. But I appreciate your time. Thanks. Well, yeah. When I when I make a point, if you go, if you go, yeah, we're not gonna get anywhere. That's fine. <laughs> like you could have engaged in the points, but okay. But you are intentionally obfuscating systems of morality and systems I'm that not. have nothing to do with morality. I'm saying that I'm saying that these systems are inherently linked to our morality. You disagree, but when I bring up the fact that people who are doing something are doing it at the expense of other lives, you go, uh, we're just not going to get anywhere. Okay. No, because, because you are saying that they are doing that and considering it a morally correct action. What do you think? They, they bleach the food at night and go, man, I wish I didn't have to do this. I wish I didn't have to do the policy that I set. Man, I wish I, wish I didn't have to follow this policy that I set forth. And, 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 oh, man, this is so immoral of me to do this to myself. Yeah, I mean, I, I see what you're saying. So you're essentially arguing then that in the United States, we follow an objectivist morality that values the dollar more than human life. I'd say in every, and, every nation in the world, we kind of do this. I mean, on some level, I guess I would agree with you. It's just, I, I, outside of objectivism, I don't know any system of morality that operates that way. And it seems like you don't want to deviate from objectivism. So... I would uh, hold on. I'm going to say it's not that you don't know any system that operates this way. It's that you refuse to concede that our system currently operates this way and that morality is directly tied into our economic system because we have an economic system where if you do not have money, you die. And people know that and knowingly take more money at the expense of other people. Right. You think you think insurances and hospitals, price gouging, medical treatment is not them making a moral judgment. Yeah, I mean, I, I would argue that a lot of those things uh, don't even have moral consideration going into them. It's all uh, an economic, like economics and, yeah, like you said, capitalism. I, I so it's won't immoral, argue with you that that's wrong. I, I just want to make sure I'm understanding something here. It's immoral for someone choosing what they want to do with their body, even if it harms another human. But it's not immoral for someone to choose what they do to their wallet if that harms another human. Interesting. Yeah, I'm 
yeah, I've, I, I've totally spun out. You got me. Okay. <laughs> like just admit you care more about people's wallets than you do when than you actually care about people <laughs> like you don't actually care about people being harmed you don't actually care about the fetuses <laughs> 